A child's experiences during the earliest years of life have a lasting impact on the architecture of the developing brain. Genes provide the basic blueprint, but experiences shape the process that determines whether a child's brain will provide a strong or weak foundation for all future learning, behavior, and health. During this important period of brain development, billions of brain cells called neurons send electrical signals to communicate with each other. These connections form circuits that become the basic foundation of brain architecture. Circuits and connections proliferate at a rapid pace and are reinforced through repeated use. Our experiences and environment dictate which circuits and connections get more use. Connections that are used more grow stronger and more permanent. Meanwhile, connections that are used less fade away through a normal process called pruning. Well-used circuits create lightning-fast pathways for neural signals to travel across regions of the brain. Simple circuits form first, providing a foundation for more complex circuits to build on later. Through this process, neurons form strong circuits and connections for emotions, motor skills, behavioral control, logic, language, and memory during the early critical period of development. With repeated use, these circuits become more efficient and connect to other areas of the brain more rapidly. While they originate in specific areas of the brain, the circuits are interconnected. You can't have one type of skill without the others to support it. Like building a house, everything is connected, and what comes first forms a foundation for all that comes later. Well, the internet has over a hundred trillion links. And an adult's brain has 300 trillion links. But get this, a child's brain has a quadrillion connections. 10 times the number of connections of the entire internet. A child's brain has more connections than the entire internet. Let's break it down. As we said, a baby is born with a hundred billion neurons. But those quadrillion connections, they're not there yet. Those connections form at a very rapid speed during the first five years of life, at 700 to 1,000 new synapses per second. Those connections are created through every interaction a child has and are important because they form the architecture of the brain. So every time you talk to and engage with a child, you are literally growing a brain, connecting the different parts of the brain, which allows for new ideas, insights, and creative thinking. So each moment of eye contact, each new word exchanged, each time you make a child laugh, you are strengthening these connections. And since there are so many different ways to do this, we ask people around the world, send us videos of your favorite ways to engage with the children in your life. During these early years, a child's brain makes as many connections as possible. And then it begins pruning the ones that aren't used and strengthening the ones that are. A dynamic process that continues throughout life. But since a child's brain is activated by everything it encounters, it can also be overwhelmed, which causes stress. When the brain experiences stress, the body's alarm system is activated. If the stress is relieved quickly, the system easily returns to normal. And while learning to deal with stress is an important part of development, severe situations such as ongoing abuse or neglect, where there is no caring adult to relieve the stress, leaves the body's alarm system activated, which can have serious lifelong consequences for the child. This is known as toxic stress. Toxic stress can lead to a body system set permanently on high alert. It causes the synapses we use for learning and self-control to be pruned, while connections for fear and rash behavior get stronger.
While the brain can change throughout the rest of life, these early years are fundamental in building a strong foundation for curiosity, creativity, and adaptability. Attention is the mind's most valuable resource. Every interaction counts. We all have the opportunity to shape the future of the world. And our future starts here. All right.